Hi there, it's Julia Tabert here, Certified Holistic Nutritionist and Wellness Coach at Rossum Healthy. And today we are talking about your gut health and how it affects the health of your hormones. Now, up until relatively recently, gut flora was seen as an unwanted pathogen and something that is completely irrelevant to your health. Well now, thankfully, we live in the 21st century and there is the latest science and the, the, there is the latest research that shows that our gut health plays a crucial role when it comes to our hormones and to our overall health as well. And if you go to your regular doctor, if you just do a little experiment and if you ask your doctor whether or not your health issue or issues got anything to do with your gut flora, most likely they will say no. And this is why when we're dealing with people, they feel really frustrated. They've gone from doctor to doctor, they've gone from herbalist to healer, they've gone from naturopath, and they've just not seen the health changes that they want to see. Why? Well, because a lot of the, obviously the pills and a lot of the supplements, they deal with the outer symptoms versus looking at the root cause of the problem. Now, gut bacteria affects a lot of things in our body. It affects the way we assimilate nutrients. And then from there, obviously, we can either create great health or we can experience ill health. It affects our metabolism, the way we burn fat, the way we store fat. It affects our immune system and how we respond to viruses and bacteria around us. And it even affects our thoughts and our behavior. Now, gut bacteria produces its own hormones. So it's, if you can imagine, it's like a universe within within your body that has many different functions. It's like an organism that works by itself. It produces hormones, it produces bacteria that then affect your hormones. And in turn, your hormones also affect the, the, the gut bacteria and the hormones that it produces. So it, everything works together as one single whole. Your gut flora works together with your body and it helps you regulate estrogen levels. Estrogen plays a huge role when it comes to cell replication, when it comes to reproduction, when it comes to fat deposition, as well as bone health and your cardiovascular health. And estrogen is produced in your ovaries and then it goes to your organs, it goes to your uterus, it goes to your breast, it goes to other organs in your body, then it goes to your liver where it gets inactivated and then that inactive estrogen leaves your body via your poop and some of it also re-enters your body so you recycle it. And when your gut health is compromised then too little estrogen will exit your body and too much estrogen will will remain in your body. So this is where people start experiencing estrogen dominance. Now, some people can have too low estrogen levels as well. And this is where, you know, young ladies in their 30s, early 30s and mid 30s can start experiencing the menopause symptoms. Now, estrogen imbalances can lead to a lot of health complications, including breast, cervical and ovarian cancer, endometriosis, prostate cancer and PCOS. Now, okay, some people will go to their doctor, they will get diagnosed and they'll know what's going on with them. So they'll know the symptoms, right? And other people will have no idea about what's happening to them. They'll start experiencing all these crazy symptoms, all these hormonal imbalances and all these daily ups and downs and nightmares and feeling drained of energy and experiencing serious health complications, but they won't know what's truly happening to them. So your gut health is absolutely crucial to the health of your hormones. Now the question is, what can cause a compromised gut? Well, there are a combination of dietary and lifestyle factors. And the first one is, of course, the food that people put into their bodies. So if you put junk food, processed food, if you put fried food, if your food is unbalanced and it all goes into your body, then how can we expect to have a healthy function in gut. So it all starts from a clean diet, from a plant-based, from a whole foods diet. Now this is where it gets really interesting. A lot of people who follow us 
already eat healthy diets. We have people we worked with who have been on vegan diets for 15, 20, 30 years, yet they've still got health problems. We've coached people on raw food diets, we've coached people on whole food diets, we've coached people who ate clean, who ate simple, and they still had autoimmune conditions, hormonal imbalances, they still had lingering health issues and energy problems and weight problems and blood sugar problems. So there is still further tweaking and changing to do to your diet if what you are eating is not working for you. And diet is just one of the aspects. We don't focus on just diet when we work with our clients. We approach human body from a very holistic perspective. And uh, it's the compromised gut bacteria can also be due to toxins that you store in your body. It can be due to parasites. It can be due to infections. It can be due to heavy metals. It can also be due to past trauma, emotional trauma that people went through. So it's very important to address your health on all levels and uh, understand where the root cause is. And sometimes we're talking about several root causes and then start working on the root cause versus take this pill, take this supplement and it's all going to go by itself because it's not going to happen. So when we address hormonal issues, when we address our health issues, we've got to look at the health of our gut and we've got to do work, repair work there before we start seeing different results. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm excited to share this information with you. And straight after you watch it, feel free to jump inside our free masterclass where I will walk you through the five steps our clients use to rebalance their hormones and drop up to 50 pounds of excess weight without ever restricting their sugar or carbohydrates. So you'll see the link on the screen and I will post the link in the description section. What are your thoughts on gut health and have you addressed it over the years? Is it something that you looked into? Is it something that you need to look into? So feel free to post your comments in the comment section. Subscribe to our channel for more videos, like this video and share it with other people who can benefit from it. Thanks for watching, eat sweet, keep fit and I will see you again in our next video. Bye for now!